the story so far. Agent 47 and his handler, Diana Burnwood, are the world's top assassins working for the ICA. When all of their recent missions turn out to be contracts for a shadow client, things take an unexpected turn. All their targets have been operatives in an invisible organization known as Providence. Providence has infiltrated the highest echelons of power and secretly owns our world. The Shadow Client wages a silent war against them. And so the Constant, Providence's enigmatic controller, seeks Diana out. His request, track down and eliminate the Shadow Client. In return, he offers something irresistible. The truth of 47's lost origins. Neither know that the man they hunt is 47's childhood friend. And unlike 47, he remembers everything. Our intel indicates that she and her team are laying low, most likely planning the militia's next strike. Reynard is one of the Shadow Client's top lieutenants, and yet she's not a target. Not yet, anyway. She's no doubt high on our client's list, but for now, it's information we seek. Infiltrate the house and get us a lead on the Shadow Client. Up for some B&E, 47. On my way. No cars. They could be out. Could be lying low. The satellite scans were inconclusive. Only one way to find out, I'm afraid. Hmm. You should be able to jimmy open the garage door with a proper tool. Why don't you search the pool area, 47? Looks like Reynard's grisly handiwork, all right. She was never shy about collateral damage. The owners? Don't think so. The house is registered to a non-existing environmental NGO. This feels more like identity theft. Like you, Reynard is known to use disguises. Hmm. Keep looking, 47. Nothing we can do for these people now.
Robert Knox is expected to make a statement early next week. Teen fans are barely out of their mourning period, but today... Forty-seven. That computer. See if you can't access it. Encrypted. Hmm. Assuming there's a key, Reynard wouldn't just leave it lying around. Wait. According to the floor plan, the room you're in should be a lot bigger. There might be a concealed space behind the wall. Check for hidden panels, Forty-seven. Hmm. Appears Reynard's cell is launching another strike. Those are sewer maps of a residential area in Wellington. Well, there's nothing we can do about it now. Our priority is the Shadow Client. Here we go. For the office computer, no doubt. I'm in. Hurry. I'm detecting movement up the road. A motorcade, possibly Reynard's. Uploading the data. Hold on. Receiving it now. Hmm. Nothing on the Shadow Client or the other cells. No names, no aliases. I doubt she even knows whom she's working for. Wait, here's something. A message from Robert Knox of Kronstadt Industries. And by the sound of it, he's a Providence operative. A defector. Well, well, well. Client won't like this one bit. And you can't wait to tell him. They're back. Multiple hostiles. I see them. Damn. Okay, we've got all we're going to get. Go to stage 247. Eliminate Reynard, and preferably without raising suspicion. One step ahead of the Shadow Client for once. Let's keep it that way. Ugh, thought this night would never end. What a snob fest. And I even missed out on the action. I'm sorry you had to endure all that free champagne and cello music, Orson. What can I say? You really took one for the yeah, team. Yeah, well, I say stick to what you know. the property. Hey! I need some backup over here!
nothing here, Command. Moving on. Mercs have discovered your boat, 47. They're on high alert, combing the beach for intruders. Proceed with caution. to get past them unnoticed. I suggest you cause a distraction, 47, and make it a loud one.
Well, it's official. New Zealand paid off. The client has given us carte blanche. Hunt down the militia by any means necessary. A week ago, Providence was a threat. How did you swing the board? The board are practical people, 47. A blank check is hard to turn down. Besides, the Shadow Client's war on Providence is causing a global panic. Someone will need to stop the militia. Might as well be us. And the man on the train? You never told them about his offer. Taking a contract for personal gain is against ICA regulations. Sodas would have been proud. Is that a sense of humor, 47? Whatever next, crying at the movies? Why are you doing this? I know what it's like to have everything taken from you. He claims to know about your past, your childhood, your memories, everything Ortmeier stole from you. And you trust him? About as far as I can throw him. But this is our best lead in 20 years. I say it's time we break a few rules. Good afternoon, 47. Your destination is the annual Global Innovation Motor Race in Miami, Florida. After analyzing the data from Reynard's computer, the case is clear. The Providence defectors are Robert and Sierra Knox, head of robotics developer Kronstadt Industries. A visionary inventor and technological innovator, Robert Knox has spearheaded Kronstadt Industries to the bleeding edge of technological development. His equally brilliant daughter, Sierra, is not only a financial wizard, but also a fiercely competitive race car driver with a fiery temper to match. Kronstadt enjoys enormous popularity with global consumers. However, few are aware that the company is also one of the world's leading suppliers of next-gen military tech. Last year, despotic ruler Jin Po employed prototype Kronstadt drones against peaceful civilian protesters in the now infamous Tungyan Valley incident. And although it has yet to be proven, there is little doubt that the Noxes personally brokered the deal, making them complicit in a war crime. It is unclear why the Noxes would betray their masters, but likely the fear of being next on the Shadow Client's hit list has pressured them to cut a deal with the enemy. Undoubtedly, with Kronstadt Industries on their side, the militia will increase their attacks tenfold. And so our contract obligates us to retire Robert and Sierra Knox and contain the damage they may inflict on Providence. I will leave you to prepare.
Welcome to Miami, 47. The innovation race is on its last day, and it is down to the wire. Thousands of eager fans are gathered for the final laps of this unexpectedly close race. Sierra Knox is expertly piloting her red Kronstadt car. Her father, Robert Knox, roams the nearby Expo building where Kronstadt is showcasing its new prototype car. The Kronstadt RK Mark III has seen fierce competition from the Chinese Kowloon Heavy Industries' new racer. Moses Lee, CEO of Kowloon, has taken a dominant lead and looks invincible. Sierra Knox will need to risk it all if she wants to win for the third year in a row. The stakes are as high as they can get. It's a test of nerves going into that corner. Who backs down? Collision going into that corner? Oh, the stewards are going to have to take a close look at this one. This race is all about getting some miles under the hood. It's as much about the car. Hey there. Hydration boost, normally reserved for the drivers. Fix me right up. What? Like doping? No, it's for after the racing's done. Although it. It kind of looked like the Tour de France in there, but with all the syringes and I mean. Do you hate me? Ready to meet up with Sierra Knox over at the hotel. Yeah, after the race. I've just got to pick up the documents from my van, but um, I had to knock out a guy and steal his flamingo outfit, and now I can't find my car keys. Yeah, I know this stuff. Oh, yes, hello. Um, somebody's called this number um, with your.
That thing's beyond fixing. to endurance racing. Let me remind you that this is different from Grand Prix in that it's all about which team can go the distance. Fuel efficiency and reliability. That's the name of the game. This is where you see the car technology of tomorrow. See that red car, 47? That's the Kronstadt race car with Sierra Knox behind the wheel. What a day for the global innovation race, huh? Couldn't be prettier here in Miami. Yes, sir, the crowd's Welcome having a good one. the global innovation race. Listen, if Miller, I don't care about your problems, all right? I made it clear this morning that if things yeah, didn't change, I'd be off the constant team. Half an hour later, I have to listen to Knox berate my skills as a mechanic because the roll cage interferes with the radio signals from Sierra suit. No more. I'm done. Yes, I know you're a man short now, and no. I don't give a rat's ass about it. I tell you what, one another. Double my salary for the entire week, and I'll come back and wish Sierra who decides to use that last It's not over until the clock ticks down. If you decide otherwise, I'll be down by the paddock. Best of luck, Grace. Let me remind you that this is different from Grand Prix in that it's all about which team can go the distance. Fuel efficiency and reliability, that's the name of the game. This is where you see the car technology of tomorrow. in behind Diaz's rear wing and just slingshots past him going into the corner. Great racing.
Dressed as a mechanic, you're now allowed inside the Kronstadt pit. I suggest you talk to Grace Miller, chief mechanic. She could probably use some extra hands. Mindful of roaming security guards. Some of them may work out you don't quite belong. Use the crowds to hide in if needed. It's as much about the car's stamina and technology as it is about the driver's talent. Junior slip wrench who got injured yesterday, right? Suppose I am. Great. This is your lucky day. Do well and there's a bonus in it. Got it? Got it. All right, everyone. Look alive and get to your stations. Sierra may come in for a last-minute pit stop, and I need you ready and able. You, rookie, get into position. Grab your preferred tool and be prepared. Today's your day to shine. Let's do this. You should investigate your station, 47. Great. She's right. She is pushing it too hard. Okay, this is not good. It seems there are several ways to go about this. I suggest finding a new wrench. Here, guys. Told you these tires are not gonna cut it. the accident happened? Wouldn't be the first time during these races. Remember two years ago when that driver from Eastern Europe got totally smashed? Go on.
and it's off. You don't have the guts to... Get out of here, all right? Thank you. Everything okay? Good. Listen to yes, that. Thank you. The waiting time is almost over, and the crowd is going nuts down here in Miami. This is a race that will go down in What more could anyone Uh, that's not looking good.
the world's tech giants flex their engineering muscle. Good, not good, not good. Yeah. Hey there, sir. Not a terrorist or anything like that. Okay, McKinnis, let's run this test. That You're sure is Robert Knox, genius inventor, action. black yeah, market's sure. weapons dealer, and Providence all defector. This fella? Mm, hang on, 47. Robert Knox's calendar shows a meeting with a Ted Mendez, a defense funding consultant with the U.S. military. It must be related to that robot. Maybe you can find Mendez somewhere. Ted Mendez, a defense funding consultant with the U.S. military, is scheduled for a private demonstration of a new Kronstadt robotics project. Sounds like a way to get up close and personal with Robert Knox, 47. Accident was. I've looked over everything and I just can't nail it. Something about the console that I'm not sure. Hello, HR? Yes, it's Ben Wheeler down at the Bayside Center. So, uh, listen, I realize that may sound Figured I'd try out a new beat, you know? Everything you hoped it would be? Don't know. This is my first gig. Never been. I have been before discovering my own. No, no, that wasn't it. I was thinking about what might actually happen when Knox and the engineers integrate advanced artificial intelligence into those robots. Like that Kai project they launched. One hour. I was thrilled. Now, tell me, people back in order, but you come to discover how I Reporter, but I have ambitions too, you know. The fact is that Kronstadt is very likely with That is Ted Mendez, one of the country's most influential military grade money men. This must be connected to Kronstadt. Gave me the biggest run around I've ever been on. Complete dead end. That's why I'm the shot here. Robert Knox has got to know some fierce power players. Tense rivalry will no doubt keep spectators at the edge of their right up until the final I am officially GNN News.
anyone there? Who's throwing stuff around? Why is that happening? <gasps> Hey there. Oh. I'm sorry. I thought you were someone else. How you been? Collecting pictures of celebrity entrepreneurs now, 47? Hmm. What are you thinking? Mr. Mendez? Right this way, sir. Let me show you everything. I'm gonna say something provocative now, Ted. War is going out of fashion. It's dirty, it's just plain bad PR. Nobody wants to exchange their children and loved ones for flags and medals anymore. The glory is gone, Ted. But, luckily, Kronstadt has a solution for that. Imagine this. Android infiltrators operating in the field Disguised and fully embedded. Ready to strike at a moment's notice. Indestructible robotic operators who can infiltrate the deepest sanctuary of any adversary. Striking an unseen fatal blow. A surgical tool nice day for, it, for isn't a it? blunt world. Imagine an army of them. Fully equipped android medics seeking out wounded servicemen and injured civilians, bringing them to safety or patching them up then and there. Android pilots delivering payloads deep inside enemy territory with uncanny precision and minimal collateral damage. All right, Mendez, it's very straightforward. Let me show you. I just pick any of the pictures on the desk then I use the scanner to upload the biometric data. And Palace will do the rest. Target acquired. WB. Obviously, the final system won't rely on you manually feeding it biometric data. This is still a prototype. This is a pivotal moment in modern conflict solution, Ted. Palace is entirely foolproof. All you need is to pick a photo. Target acquired. Damn it. Robert Knox. Go to hell. Both targets down. Well Come done, on. 47. Yeah. Head for an exit, and we'll speak again soon.
Shanghai. Montreal. We're bleeding operatives. Panic is spreading, and now we are axing our own? Knox was a traitor. He would have caused incalculable damage. And he won't be the last. This is exactly what the enemy wants. We need to fight the sickness, not the symptom. And I have just the tool for the job. Right. The Burnwood woman. Eric Soders warned you about her, didn't he? The Crusader. I can handle Miss Burnwood. Everyone hates power and... Berlin. Shanghai. Montreal. We're bleeding operatives. Panic is spreading, and now we are axing our own? Knox was a traitor. He would have caused incalculable damage. And he won't be the last. This is exactly what the enemy wants. We need to fight the sickness, not the symptom. And I have just the tool for the job. Right. The Burnwood woman. Eric Soders warned you about her, didn't he? The Crusader. I can handle Miss Burnwood. Everyone hates power until you offer them some. And, and you ought to know. ICA speaks the enemy's language. We need them. And once we don't... <laughs> we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Fact remains, we are shadowboxing. We need to know who we are up against. I was getting to that. His name is Lucas Gray, the late Mr. Cobb's head of security. Cobb was ground zero, first of our operatives to die. It had to be one of his staff, someone with military training and access to the plane. Ah, grasping at straws. Gray is a mercenary, a veteran of every backwater tragedy you've ever ignored on the five o'clock news. Chechnya, Sierra Leone, the list goes on, but before 89, nothing. No records of any kind. Now, oh, come on. CIA, KGB, plenty of spies went dark. After the curtain was lifted, I cast a very wide net. Lucas Gray simply does not exist. <clears throat> If you're all quite done wetting yourselves with excitement, I couldn't give two shits where he came from. I only want to know one thing. How does he know about us? I swear to God, this hearts and flowers crap will get us both killed. Can't you see? Your so-called friend is working for them now. He's not the man you knew. This is his fight too, Olivia. Even if he doesn't realize it. Like it or not, 47 is our last and only lead on the partners. He needs to remember. He's coming for us. And unlike you, he won't hesitate. Just get me inside. Rico, I need a favor. <laughs> 